Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. In today's video we'll be working here on a Chevy Cruze guys and we'll show you how to remove and replace your climate control switch. Now, doesn't matter guys if you have a single zone or dual zone climate control, the procedure should cover both of them. Quick introduction guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. While we guys do all that guys, so we can save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully you will find the information helpful and we'll be able to save you some money if you need to buy any tools parts replacement parts for your chevy cruise guys or any car check out the link in the description of the video below you can get them for a great price and fast shipping as well so let's go ahead start on it and show you guys how we're going to replace the climate control switch on that chevy cruise now so the climate control switch is located right here again doesn't matter if you have a single zone dual zone the procedure is practically the same We'll need to do actually quite a bit of this assembly to get to it and you'll see why and uh, uh, we'll cover everything from start to finish today. Now, we're going to get a panel removal tool. All the tools and parts that we use, you can find listed in the description of the video below. Panel removal tool, okay, right here, guys. And I'm going to go ahead. Okay, this is too thick. I'll get the thinner one. That's why it's good to have a couple. Okay, and pop that trim piece loose. I usually get right here and that way you don't cause any damage to your dashboard as well. You will have two clips here, one right there, you have two in the corners and two small ones on the side I think. Now, okay let me see, perfect, that thing came out. Let me explain where all the clips are now. One, two, three big ones, on top you have one, two, three, four and you have on each side one little one this is out now let me position this thing somewhere so it doesn't fall and <clears throat> what else we need to do now we need to do guys quite more and i'll explain why here now as you can see we cannot remove okay that black piece only you think that the black piece comes uh, with the gray piece no it's not that's where things get interesting again I already removed it to see how it works and right here guys you have a couple clips on top but now you have to be extremely careful not to damage okay not to damage your uh, uh, your climate control here but here you have one clip here and one there and those are a little bit hard to get to so I'll get the father too now and see if I can release those okay that's what you're trying to do you need to start from one side careful when it gets loose okay not to break your climate control and you have the same thing on this side now let me explain the clips okay you can probably see some of them one one two three four and on the other side you have a few more okay this thing is out now guys what i'm going to do now i'm going to get a uh, screwdriver quick with a seven millimeter bit and we'll show you what we need to do let me actually go ahead and remove that piece out of the way so we don't need to okay flip it around here because we don't want guys to be in the way i'll just leave it uh, okay oh, let me just unhook this one as well that gray piece you just get it out and we disconnect it perfect now let me get a seven millimeter socket with a screwdriver bead, okay? And we're going to, we're going to continue. So we get a seven millimeter socket. Okay, that screwdriver is amazing, guys. We'll have the link in the description of the video below. We've been using it for more than two years and it works amazing. But first, okay, let's remove these four screws. Okay, one here. One down there. Ah, give me a second because I dropped this thing and I don't want to get stuck somewhere where it shouldn't be. Okay, perfect. Now we have two more, the same thing on this side. I have one on top here. And now you're going to see that there is something else that you need to do. And what it is, guys, you try to move it, it doesn't work. 
what do we need to do in that case? First, we need to remove, okay, that little bitty tray right there. So one screw here, one on this side, the same like the other one. You can see how quick it is with that screwdriver. I love that thing. Instead of unscrewing those screws in the plastic, which is really hard, you just remove them in no time. Perfect. Now, it's still stuck, guys. Okay, why? Because now right here on top, we have two clips, two metal clips. So grab it. Okay, and this one is stuck a little bit. So what I'm going to get, I'll get a clip removal too. Okay, perfect. This one came out. Let me see if I'll be able to get to this one now. Because it's a little bit limited room here. Okay, perfect. This one came out as well. What do we need to do now? Okay, you can see it comes to the side like that. Now guys, okay, I'll just go ahead and disconnect all the wires so I can show you uh, how to do everything. So, not very complicated at all. We need to start, okay, with the uh, little bit of wire for the airbag uh, like here. So I recommend to have your car battery disconnected at least one hour because that's part of the airbag system. And every time you work on your airbag system, guys, I recommend just to have the car battery disconnected at least one hour, okay, before you work on it. Why? Because... Okay, this one came out because otherwise things can go bad and airbags can kill you guys. So, we have a few more switches here that we need to disconnect. I'll, I'll explain about those in a second. So this, the black one here, okay, there is one place, okay, like this one right here that you press in and you pull it out. Blue is the same way, right here in the middle, press in, pull it out. And now for the climate control, okay, this red thing is supposed to slide out now. Why? Because guys, this is a safety retainer that prevents the clip from getting loose. So you need to slide it back, okay, like that, then press in here and disconnect it, okay. And that whole assembly came out just like that. So in order to remove the climate control switch now, guys, okay, that whole assembly comes with it. Let me explain what you need to do. There is one plastic clip right here on the bottom, so press in in the middle, the thing that sticks out. Okay, I'm trying to show you now, and we're going to pry at the same time. Okay, this one came out. Now we have exactly the same clips on top. Okay, one here, one there. Trying to see if you can actually see it. So, okay, one is out, the other one is out. And now your climate control assembly, the whole assembly, guys, comes out just like that. So you can see, that's how we removed it. Not very complicated at all, right? Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful to any of you do, needing to do that work. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.